Hi, Kylie. Hello. Tell me about the comeback, coming back and working with Adam once again. How does it feel? Uh, tell us all about it. When I found out I was going to be back in this second movie, I was a little bit nervous. But when I knew Adam was going to be there for the second movie, I knew we he and I worked well together, so I became more confident. And meeting all the new cast was great as well. But it felt like old times from the first movie. So I felt confident after arriving to Australia. And it was such a great time with Adam as my director. You know, when you uh, come back to the same movie that you have done again, uh, does it bring back good memories? Uh, does it help? Because you have already played the part. So this time coming back, becomes a little more easier because you know how things work, right? You are talking to a green screen and things around you, you're more familiar, right? So was it easier this time around? Yeah, the first movie, I was not used to it at all. There was a lot of waiting and a lot of patience I had to gain as well. So I wasn't used to that. In the second movie, I already knew and I prepared for all of that waiting. I knew about the green screen as well and I was used to working with it. And, you know, I had to talk to a lot more people. There was a lot more people around me in the second movie. So there's a lot of things I did have to get used to, but it was very easy. You know, in this film, we see even uh, the last film we saw that Jia has a very special connection with Kong, you know. So what what about Kylie? Does Kylie have this special connection with any animal in your life, a pet or you know, maybe a neighbor's pet, any connection like that? I'm not a really, I'm not really crazy about animals. I don't have any pets, so I don't unfortunately have any special connections. You remember the first time uh, watching King Kong, you know, before uh, this Godzilla and Kong came together, you know, as a kid watching King Kong. And did you ever think that you will be here uh, playing that part? Uh, do you have any memories of that? I actually had never thought I would be in a monster movie before. I never thought that was going to be me. But look at me now. Okay. Uh, you know, in King Kong, we have seen this. Uh, this girl has this special part of understanding nature and things around, you know. So tell me how difficult was it for you as an actor to play this role uh, or to understand Gia's character? I think I read Gia's script and her lines, of course. And so I kind of created her in my head by myself. But I kind of thought about her personality and what kind of person she would have. So I just portrayed that in my acting when I acted as Gia. You know, uh, one last question is this. Representation of the deaf community in Hollywood. Um, we constantly are evolving, uh, talking about it. Uh, what do you think about it? I know most deaf people of course enjoy movies as well. So when they see themselves portrayed using sign language on the screen, even though it's short, they're still using sign language. You know, most of the times their lines are a little bit shorter, but this hopefully will give more deaf people more opportunities to have roles like this and they can enjoy movies more because they can see themselves portrayed in the movie. Uh, have anybody come up to you and told you or appreciated it and said, thank you because of you, uh, we feel, uh, uh, we feel noticed or, you know, we can see ourselves, we can relate to you. Yeah. When I would go out, you know, I had a people, they would say such nice things about me. So it was very nice. Thank you so much, Kali. It was lovely talking to you. Thank you.